There is a fascinating article out on the Weather Channel's website about the magnitude 7.9 earthquake that struck Alaska this week. It triggered water level fluctuation anomalies in wells in Florida, approximately 3,800 miles away. This is certainly not the first such instance. The article describes three other notable examples of this connection between earthquakes and water levels, some of them at considerable range. The novelty of this recent event was how far the effect was felt. This is much further than the Alaska to Wisconsin connection that happened in 2002. The event had different effects. Madison, Florida saw a rise in water levels while there was a drop noted near Fort Lauderdale at the same time about 45 minutes after the earthquake itself struck off the coast of Alaska. Now interestingly, the article does not mention perhaps the greatest recorded long-range connection between earthquakes and well levels. Back in 2011, the major Japan earthquake made water levels fluctuate from Orlando to the Florida Keys, more than 7,400 miles away, or just under twice as far away as this latest Alaska to Florida connection. Now while this is interesting, the patterns beginning to emerge in the wake of this recent earthquake are puzzling. I shared this information in part of a deeper look episode for website members this week, but the wide interest tells me we need more eyes and brains on this one. So here we go. This is the largest 20 main shock earthquakes of the last 15 months. The recent event, the 7.9 in Alaska, occurred one year and a little less than one day after the 7.9 that struck Papua New Guinea back in 2017. Looking down a bit further, we see another perfect one year between seven pointers again. Then start five slots down from the top, November 13th, 2016 with the 7.8 in New Zealand. Then fast forward one year minus two days and a seven pointer struck the Iran-Iraq border region on November 11th, 2017. Now if you spend some time looking at this chart, you're probably going to notice some other oddities. Those on the website were noticing them too. It can be viewed at full in our primary earthquake website, quakewatch.net, on the statistics page. From long-range connections over thousands of miles to long-range connections possibly existing through the dimension of time, be it our planet's angular momentum versus tilt at these times of the year or perhaps something in the astrological houses we traverse in the heavens, data is data and this latest earthquake tells us something, another mystery. Be safe, everyone.